are celebrating Black History Month with this special edition of Heart and Soul, honoring Chicagoans making history and mentoring the next generation of leaders. In Arabic, Iman means faith. For so many formerly incarcerated men in Chicago, it means opportunity. Opportunity to find a job and restore peace in their neighborhoods. ABC 7's Karen Jordan has a story. I am a man. I am a man. I pledge as a man. I pledge as a man. That pledge is recited every morning by Billy Moore and the members of Iman. Iman stands for Inner City Muslim Action Network. Iman has a holistic approach of impacting the community in various ways around health, wellness, and healing. Iman was a blessing to me. I know one of the biggest impacts it had on me was for my emotions and my mentality. But Iman offers more than just counseling services and behavioral health. Its Green Reentry Initiative provides transitional housing and job training for formerly incarcerated men and at risk youth. I'm part of a family here that's teaching me a trait. I'm 63 years old, and I spent most of my life in prison. I'm learning a trade that's going to teach me how to eat for the rest of my life. It just teach you, you know, to deal with self and others in, in the most respectful and reasonable way possible. Members of the program receive hands-on training and put their skills to use by rehabbing properties in the community, like this home in Chicago Lawn. The Green Reentry Program services men and women from ages 18 to 63, and every generation benefits from the other. We got men in that room who have done upwards of 43 years in prison, so that's a lot of wisdom. And these older guys are benefiting from these younger guys, too. They have a chance to help and repair some damage that they feel responsible for in our communities. And when I tell them and give them the uncut truth about the streets, you are either be the dead or in prison. They take it to heart. Billy has made it his mission to help men and women become successful and productive members of society. But that mission was not always so clear as Billy once struggled with his own journey. At the age of 16, I shot a young man and he unfortunately died. Because of that, I went away for 20 years. I'm still healing from that. My healing is what I find every day in my job that I do. But it's Billy's past that is helping him connect with the lives he's trying to save today. I came to realize he did some time in prison, uh, like myself, and him being able to relate. Helped me let my guard down, helped me be more vulnerable, and I took a liking to that. People thought that when they put me away for 20 years, I wasn't worth saving or I wasn't redeemable. Me touching these young men lives showed that that's not true. I know where I am now, and I'm elevating, you know, I'm growing. I'm around positive people, and it's great. When I hear young men tell me that I have had some type of impact in their life, it's worth it. I know I can't save everybody, but I hope that it can impact the system for at least one individual. Coming up, how coaches are helping young athletes succeed beyond sports. And later on, we'll take a look back on the legacy of Jesse White and his impact on the community through the Jesse White Tumblers. Come on, come on. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.